the elections as they were conducted yesterday have thrown up quite a number of issues which we have kept vigil discussing since 11 p.m. Uh, last night in Nigeria. But we do know that people are watching from all over the world, uh, people in Asia, people in America, people in Canada and Australia are watching. And if you are, I would like you to be part of the conversation. Um, you can do that by using the hashtag 2019 elections, use the hashtag the verdict. Um, we have in the studio uh, two gentlemen, both legal luminaries. Uh, Mr. Jiti Ogunye has been with us since uh, we started the verdict studios here at Channels Television. Thank you for joining us on My the pleasure. program. Yeah, we you. also have Mr. Uh, Liberos Oshoma, a legal practitioner. Thank you for, for joining us. Always my pleasure. Now, the conversation we had before we went on the hour-long break, uh, the gentleman sitting in, in your chair was telling us that, look, um, probably we should give ourselves a break and not over signpost the not too palatable part of the experience we had yesterday. Uh, but it appeared that it wasn't, an, it wasn't a popular opinion. Uh, would you say, towing that line of argument, that these skirmishes, this um, lateness of electoral um, staff and materials were sort of isolated uh, cases? W would it be fair to say they were isolated? Uh, you, you see, uh, it, it's always um, the problem why, it's always the situation why we find it difficult, you know, solving specific problems. Um, it's just like um, a pregnant woman, you know, in labor. Immediately the child is delivered and you, you, you forget the pain. So, um, anyway, you know, let's not talk about the pains. After all, the baby is here, so that's all that, all that matters. And, and so you find out that we have that attitude or mentality to some of these issues, you know. So you have the same problems reoccurring. You say, well, let's not, you know, highlight the problems. After all, the Western world also do not highlight their problems to us. So why should we consistently highlight us? Let's look at the gains. After all, you know, we've succeeded in conducting another transition from civil rule to civil rule, even though it was all done in, you know, a military form, military mentality, you know, and everything. And so you say, let's not look at the, let's not highlight the problem. Let's look at the gains. And so you leave out the problems. You highlight the gains, quote and unquote. And then four years later, these same problems confront you. You say, oh, you see, anyway, um, you know, they, they were not as much as, as we noticed them before. And, and so we keep excusing away these problems. And so the more you keep excusing them away, it gets to a point that, you know, the outside world looks at you, they're like, these are basic, these are minor problems that ordinarily, you know, you ought not to be having at this stage. Just like, you know, um, last night, um, uh, the ambassador did say something also, that when he worked with the Nigerian army in 1991, the problems that they're having today, they had in 1991. Um, in Sierra Leone, in I think Sierra Leone, you nations. know, and, and, and so one would have expected that, you know, some of these problems are also a way of you, as if you assess them, you should be able to at least, you know, confront them and surmount them. But because we excuse them away, it's the same thing with elections. You find out that the problems we had, even with the IBB transition elections, were the same problems we had in 1999. And today we are still talking about ballot box, box snatching. We're talking about late arrival of materials. They are not isolated cases. If they were isolated, you can now say, well, the gains are more than the problem. So let's why focusing on these areas that where we can do better let's also highlight the gains but you find that I, I i gave an example you know previously i said in lagos state without traffic you can drive from one end of lagos to another end the farthest point in less than one hour 
And so you had INEC office in Yaba. And in places like Bagada, Bariga, um, uh, Okota, Sulere, you would expect ordinarily that materials would get to these places before 8 a.m. And as at 10.30, if people in Bagada were still waiting for materials, you know. So you now begin to ask yourself, is this logistic problems or that it shows lack of preparedness on some part? In some cases, they tell you, oh, um, the military personnel, you know, had to stop some INEC officials. They wanted to be sure and specific that, you know, truly, these are INEC officials and the materials that they were carrying were indeed, you know, genuine materials. And then you also ask, why is there no synergy between these agencies that are working together to achieve a common purpose? Why is it that they are all working across purpose? You would have expected that, you know, there is... Um, you know, a, a, a synergy between all agencies. Even that, before the even uh, the, before the, the day of the even election. Even before the, the D day, so that, you know, the security operator. Take, for example, let me quickly give you an example. You find out that before now, it was easy for a lot of people to procure driver's licenses from Oluwole. You know? But <laughs> the, the, the um, what do you call it, um, the road safety had to come up with a short code to verify. Yes, now if you have a, a, a driver's license, you don't need to begin to look, oh, is this one? Because in some cases, it's even difficult for you to verify the original, you know, by me looking at, you know, both documents. So you verify through a short code. These are ways you use technology to curb some of these processes. I consistently say, I will not miss that point when INEC, when INEC postponed the elections by one week. INEC chairman did say on that Saturday when he was addressing the WordPress, he said that after the postponement in 2015, there were issues identified, but there was need for us to discuss around all of the logistic issues. So, and at what point? Why didn't he raise all of these issues? And if we don't highlight those problems and deal with them now, I tell you, Kyle, come four years from now, it might even be worse. Just the same way. We, did, we refused to highlight the negative problems in River State in 2015. Once we had um, the elections were over, we identified the fact that, oh, yes, there were irregularities, but it wasn't substantial enough. And then we went on, went on as if, you know, everything was okay. Now we are confronted with another problem, with another election. It is the same problem. Just the same way we didn't deal with the logistic problems and find a way of handling them. Take, for example, before the famous... Um, uh, uh, Donald Duke uh, interview of how we rig election, how wreck rex election, uh, election. We, the, the INEC used to collaborate with government agencies to distribute materials. And, and so, with that interview, they decided to collaborate with the National Union of Road Transport Workers to distribute materials. And we also know, it's a notorious fact that once gov some governors use some of these boys to win election, after the election, they find a way of absorbing them into National Union of Road <coughs> Transport Workers. And so you find that some of these members of the National Union of Road Tran Transport Workers are also participants in the process. They already have um, interest in the process. And then some of them are the people that you're going to use to distribute materials. And if you say, oh, the materials that were to be distributed, the people that were to distribute the, the materials on the part of the National Union of Road Transport Workers didn't come as at when due, how do we know those to call out? How do we know that uh, Barbara Zaki was driving a damfo and he didn't come? But if you had reputable transport companies that we know their name and that failed to distribute materials in Lagos, we can begin to call out the names of some of these reputable companies. <coughs> And also, that would serve as a deterrent and market, the market some of this brand. But when you don't have, you, 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 everything is about, oh, how do we collaborate? In some cases, you see downfalls, you begin to wonder. Just the same way police use downfalls to do patrol. You know, so <laughs> it, it makes a mockery of the system. And then... You don't even know. <laughs> exactly. And so once we, are, we, are, we, we manage to pass through it, we say don't highlight the problem. It's quite unfortunate. But yeah, it's it's the truth. Um, in all of this, uh, we don't seem to have heard 
any major response or reaction from, from INEC um, since the election began. Uh, even though some of the agents have tried to defend some of the um, issues signposted, posted. Is this normal? Or is it normal for them to just focus on counting the votes and collate, collating without <coughs> having said anything up, up until now? Um, channels, television, as very um, admirably availed INEC the opportunity uh, to reach out to Nigerians. And I must say that um, the media generally, the Chinese television in particular, has done a lot to amplify uh, INEX messages and interface with Nigerians. Uh, yesterday evening, the media uh, uh, officer of uh, the chairman of INEC or media assistant on your program. Oh, the chief press secretary. Chief press secretary on your program um, congratulated INEC. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> going answering your question. I congratulated INEC that uh, part of the uh, achievements of INEC in this uh, just concluded presidential election, general election, was that all the presidential candidates, and three in all, uh, successfully had their biometrics information confirmed with the card reader, unlike uh, in the previous election in 2015, when uh, the, president the sitting president could didn't, couldn't do that in, in, in Bayesa, or to, uh, where, where, where a, 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 in his pulling, pulling boot. And he said that that sh should tell Nigerians that they, they, they're making little uh, progress. So uh, they've tried to get uh, back to Nigerians to tell Nigerians about what they've achieved or accomplished in this election. Uh, it's still a work in progress. Uh, the results are yet to be announced. Uh, coalition uh, are yet to be fully made, and then uh, we yet to have returns at all the levels. Uh, maybe more self accolades <laughs> and um, uh, plaudits will, will, will soon come the ways of Nigerians, and then Nigerians may then get to know how IMEX self assesses its performance in this uh, election. Let me just say, Kyle, that we have a fixation in our electoral system, a fixation about conducting an election and having that election generally applauded by intruding international observers as a way of legitimizing the conduct of that, of that election, and then waiting for four years uh, to conduct another election. In between, uh, we conduct a number of one-off elections uh, off-season, uh, you know, in some of the states, uh, which by default of uh, uh, court rulings, uh, following election petitions, now have different dates outside the general election cycle. And INEC also says that, yes, uh, 